recording. Right. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to make a net of a building. So I want to put a building into this position in here. So I'm going to put it in between these squares. So there's going to be five squares by three squares. In other words, it's going to be 10 centimetres long, six centimetres wide. And I'm going to make my building about, stand about five centimetres tall. So the easiest way to make a net is if I grab one of these big cardboard boxes and I'm starting right along this edge here to make it easier. So I said I want my building to be 10 centimetres wide, so I'm marking 10 centimetres. What I'm going to use is the tri-square to give a 90 degree angle to make it easier to work with. So there's my edge that's of my building, which is 10 centimetres. I said that the base of my building was 6 centimetres long, so I'm now marking the base. So I've marked up 6 centimetres from the bottom, and this is going to be the bottom of my building, so I can label that as being my base. Now I need to do the side walls. So the side wall, I said for my building here, is I want to go 5 centimetres, but you can go any height you like. So you can make it shorter, or you can make it um, taller. So for the side of my building, is there at 5 centimetres. And this gives me the first side, so I'm going to label that as a side. Now the next thing I need to do is this, uh, the top. So the top is exactly the same as the base. So the base and the top are both six centimetres for my building. So that gives me the top of my building. And I need to do one more side. So I need to extend these lines a little bit further. So just carefully line up that line there. And remember we said my building is five centimetres tall, so I can measure five centimetres. So there's the other side of my building. Now for a net, to put this together, I need to add some pieces out uh, for the end of the, um, the building, so off the end. Now the easy way to work this out is the length of this line here should be the same length as that line as that line there. So for me, that one was five centimeters. If I measure out here five centimeters, and again five centimeters, just so they line up and join them. And again on this side, the length of that line should be the same length as that line there. And they were both five centimeters. and again join them up and that gives me the net so I have a base, a side, a top, another side and the two end pieces and then I can go and cut this out and that will give me a building that will fit back onto my uh, model there. Cut. Now that we've made our net for our building what we can do is uh, decorated. So I've actually drawn some windows and some doors on this one and I'm going to show you a couple of ways that we can now decorate it. The first thing I'm going to do is cut some slots in for the different sections. So for a window and for doors I'm going to cut some sections in for each one. And then what we can do is we can bend the cardboard back so we have little areas that will open to make it look like parts of doors or parts of windows. So in this building we'd have a door that opens up like a garage, a window and a front door. So that's one way of doing it. Another way that we can do it, with a different model, is I can cut out the entire section. So for this one, I'm going to cut out the whole window. And then we can add 
some p clear plastic at the back to make it look like glass. So and this one, if I cut out the whole window, and then with some clear plastic, I can put the plastic into the back to make it look like glass. I'm going to use a hot glue gun just to glue it into place. Now, this is hot and the glue dries quite quickly, so you need to work fairly fast. But on this one now, I have some clear plastic and I can actually decorate that glass, that plastic in there. A third way, an easy way, if you like, you could actually paint it, so you can just get some paint. Or the other thing I've done is I've gone to the internet and I've got some pictures of doors and some windows. So what I can do here is just by using normal PVA glue, I can glue on the window. The garage door. And the front door. So that way I have each of these in place. I could use a combination, so if I went back to my first one with the slots cut out, I could actually glue on part of the printout that I have, so that can be part of the front door, or again I could just paint it. Now that we've decorated the design, what I'm going to do is glue it together so it looks like a house. So for this, I'm going to use the hot glue gun because it dries hard and it also dries quickly. So just putting glue on each of the edges. And then we we'll just need to hold it together for a couple of minutes until it dries. Again, this glue dries quite quickly, so you do need to work fairly fast. And a reminder, it is also hot, so just be careful that you don't touch it because the glue is hot. Alright, stop it there. 